Starting a new website, love the possibilities, absolutely hate designing the websites. So you wanna pick a theme that's really easy to use and you don't have to work at that much. So I kind of limit myself to three themes just because I have the licenses and I don't want to bother looking at other themes and trying to find something better. So I generally use Acabado because I'm a Project 24 member and I get that for free. I've also got Divi and I bought a lifetime membership to that, but I tend to use that more on kind of websites I'm running ads to rather than blogs. And this new theme that I've had for about a year, but I've only put it on a couple of websites. It's called the popcorn theme. And it's been developed by a couple of guys that I really like, Cole Broadbent, Alex from WP Eagle, and then their mate Phil. So the reason why I actually bought this is because it was designed by bloggers for bloggers. And I thought, well, they probably are just as lazy as I am, and they don't want to fiddle around with all different settings. So I decided what I'll do is update the theme on one of the websites that I bought a long time ago. It's called Best Man's Best Man. Um, it's really something I bought just on a whim. I thought it was a, an aged domain. It's been around for nine years or something like that. Never really did anything to it. So it still had the old theme on it that the original owner had designed and uh, it wasn't really doing much. So it was a good website to test out the new theme on. So after maybe about 30 minutes, I had everything set up and it was looking pretty clean, pretty basic, but exactly what I wanted. So popcorn is pretty easy to install. You just do it like you normally would with any other kind of theme that you bought yourself, just upload it. And uh, it gets updated uh, periodically. There was an update recently which fixed one of the problems I was having with it, which I'll try and remember to talk about later. So Popcorn is gonna give you quite a lot of uh, kind of customizing power that you wouldn't get on a free theme in most cases. So you can go through and change all these kind of things from the colors, the appearance, the actual font, the layout, and so on. Um, and it gives you quite a lot of uh, control over that. One of the cool things here is actually that you can change the title. So you can have it all uh, catalyzed if you wanted, upper and lower case. I thought it was just a cool little feature because I'm always using catalyzemytitle.com and doing that myself. So it's nice that you can just do that straight in the theme. You can also, if you want, change the fonts and stuff like that. I never touch that because I don't want to um, you know, if you're trying to use things like Google fonts, um, I'm not sure if that's what this uses, but I never kind of touch any of that. But I think it's just, yeah, looking at here, it's just basic. You can change the font if you wanted, uh, if that's your thing. I don't really bother that kind of stuff. Uh, hey, that looks fine. Let's leave that. Uh, the other thing that's cool is you can change all the uh, paragraph text, the H1s, H2s, all that kind of thing, if you want to make the text bigger or smaller. Generally, making things bigger. Uh, is good for ads because uh, it makes your content look uh, lo longer on the page. So that's a cool thing that you can change. Again, if you want to mess around with kind of the size of your site, how wide it is and stuff like that, you get all the options there, etc. You can do your social links if you build social platforms around your, um, your websites. This one doesn't have anything like that and so on and so on. Uh, another cool feature is they give you the affiliate disclaimer or whatever you want to use this right in your, uh, it appears at the bottom here on the homepage. That's pretty cool. And I think where you get the most kind of a like customizing power is on the homepage. So a lot of this stuff I just turned off because I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on this site. It's, it's not making any money really. It makes a couple of dollars a month. It's something that's on the back burner until I have enough money to, uh, spend on this. So hero section, if you want to use that to push someone to like a product or maybe a, a page that's really doing well in terms of affiliate. But I generally I just turned that off. I didn't have any ideas for that for that site. And there's a cool other cool things you can do. You can have um, categories on the home page if you want. You can also have uh, featured images, sticky uh, posts, the ones that you want to keep at the top. You know, there's lots and lots of options if you want to go through and do that. Uh, just for this particular site, I was too lazy. And it also gives you a lot of control just over the posts, and that's really why I'm using this theme. It's just for blogging. I don't want to spend any time really thinking about the theme. I just want something to put my content on that looks pretty good and not too outdated. What you can do is even play around with the metadata here on the page. I've got things like the author and the date and everything like that enabled, and I don't really want that enabled, so all I have to do is just check a box and it goes from enabled to not enabled and you can play well around with colors and the footer so again there's lots of things that you can enable if you want for example social links 
I don't have any of that stuff, so I turn it off. And you've got the copyright text here. Now, one of the things I would like to see, and I'm pretty sure you could do this by just installing the child theme and putting a bit of code into it, is just to have it automatically put the year. It's not too difficult to do that. I just wrote it in for this site because I have no idea if I still have the site next year. But that would have been a nice little feature to include perhaps. And if you want to put some widgets or something, maybe uh, some links to products or whatever you want, um, you can just play around with the columns here, which, uh, you know, you can have lots of stuff. You can design this to your heart's content, I think. All in all, I think Popcorn is a pretty simple theme. It does what it's meant to do and it's pretty easy to install and to customize. The two problems I did have initially with this was, uh, one was with the images. I'm using this on another site where the images, for some reason, when I wanted them centered, they're actually showing to the left. So to solve that issue, all I had to do is put a little bit of CSS code into the additional CSS code section that you can find in uh, most of themes. And I got that from Josh from White Hat Blogging, who had put it into the private popcorn theme Facebook group. So that's pretty nice. And the other issue I had is when I was looking at the blog section, I was clicking on the second page and it was showing exactly the same articles as it did on the first page. But I actually fixed that on the other site by updating it. And it's just something I'm gonna fix on this site by updating it. So as I said, I don't really enjoy designing websites. It's not my forte. All I want is a theme that's easy to change. I don't have to pay a lot of money to change it, and it's fast. So if we just compare a couple of sites that I own, so we've got Best Man's Best Man running Popcorn Theme. This is actually hosted on Bluehost because I'm riding my Bluehost subscription to it ends later this year and then saying goodbye forever. So just looking at the homepage here, it's getting 78 on mobile and 99 on desktop that's pretty good but it is the home page so that's quite common but if we look at one of the posts so post about beer pong it's getting 41 on mobile not so good but it is getting 98 on desktops so i am actually running ads on this website and it is through ezoic so it does have leap on it which should be speeding up so for some reason you know mobile is quite slow but i think that's quite normal but I could probably do something to uh, increase that speed there. And by the way, if you're still using Google AdSense to get ads on your website, check out Ezoic because um, basically you get a lot more money. I'm going to do a video about one of my websites where um, I've pretty much tripled the amount of revenue I've got in the last 30 days just by switching to Ezoic. If you want to know a little bit more about Ezoic, check out the link in the description. So yeah, so we're getting 98, 41, depending on its desktop or mobile on one of the posts. If I compare that to a site that I've got using Acabado, so I spoke about this, the site's called Shortisans. Again, it's another project that didn't really go anywhere. So that's getting on the homepage. It's failing, Core Web Vitals, oh dear. It's getting 39 on the homepage on mobile and it's getting 84 on desktop. Obviously, I need to have a look at the Core Web Vitals for that particular site. If we have a look again at one of the posts, um, yep, failing Core Web Vitals. Didn't know that until today. Only getting 35 on mobile, but 80 on desktop. So it seems in this case that Akabado doesn't perform as well as Popcorn theme. But again, that's only two sites. I don't know if there's something wrong with Shortisons. And just to compare this all to the other theme that I use, which is Divi on the homepage it's getting 39 on mobile so we get 82 on desktop for this particular site so i never really use divi for my blogging it's more for little websites i'm trying to write ads through so i've got a landing page here so it's not really a, an apples for apples comparison i don't think but on mobile it's going for 72 and 93 on the desktop so take away what you want from that but it does seem that Acabado compared to Popcorn, Popcorn's doing a little bit better on the two sites that I showed you. So in my experience, a theme like Divi, it's got a lot of bells and whistles, but when you compare it to a combination of Popcorn and just the basic Gutenberg blocks, you can do a lot for that just for a basic blog, and you don't need to spend a lot of time on design. It would just give you a lot more time to push out that content. So I'm gonna be heading out because I reckon my daughter needs a bottle, but gives you just enough time to like the video. And if you're interested in buying your very own license to popcorn theme, then you can check out my link in the description. See you guys later.